I love dictionaries. This is amazing object to create magical list of anything and to find any in just a second. But after they are not in use anymore, how to set them to nothing? How to destroy scripting dictionary? Straight to the topic, or almost straight. I had a situation where I created scripting dictionary with over 100k objects, classes to be precise. I thought to myself that after it is no longer needed, it is worth to get rid of it to empty the REM memory. It was heavy report itself, so why to overload that even more with unnecessary objects? So I tried the most basic thing to empty my object, set to nothing. Unfortunately, it took like 5 minutes to go through that. Uh, so it was like 4 times longer than whole code module. I was not satisfied at all. Then I found out the dictionary function to clear it. The results were almost the same as setting to nothing method. At this point I was surprised why built-in function is taking so long. I also was so desperate that I tried something like this. Remove each element one by one. The result was even worse. I don't even know what I was expecting to get knowing what was the result of remove all function. I was helpless and didn't really know what to do. I wanted to stop digging into this topic and just forget it, hoping that there will be enough REM memory to handle this report. But there was one more chance to actually deal with this problem. As this report code relied a lot on dictionaries, I thought to myself, to use the same variable for another dictionary. So instead of trying to clear the dictionary, I created a new one in the place of the old one. And this was all I wanted. In just a second, the old dictionary got cleaned. I've never thought that the easiest way to destroy scripting dictionary is to create a new one in the place of old one. To be sure, I set this new one to nothing. That is, to be sure that it's really cleared. And yes, it was empty and I did not have to wait entire life to clear this object. So after that situation, I wanted to recreate this case to check it once again and create this video, but I did not have the same data as I had that time. So I created a list which contains ID, name and code columns as sample data. I also created class CLS person with the public variables according to the headers I mentioned now. And the code module where I can loop and while every loop I create a dictionary and fill with the CLS person objects, gathering ID, name and code values from the Excel table. I did some tests for 200k rows, 400k and 600k rows. And I was really confused. Why? Because I was not able to recreate that situation. It appears that creating the dictionary in the place of existing one was not fostered in any meaning. So in such case, I think it is better to leave it and let it erase by ending the module of code. Anyway, remember that sometimes it is easier and faster to build something new instead of getting rid of it. It sounds weird, but that really helped me not only to destroy scripting dictionary in case of the data from my story, but also in other cases in VBA.
I hope one day you will discover such solutions too. If you like this video, please leave a like below and if you want to be updated about my latest uploads, please hit that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate that. Also, I invite you to my website simplexlvba.com, to my Pinterest profile with all the memes from my articles, to my Facebook profile, and if you want to show your support to my channel, you can buy me a coffee. All the links are in the description down below. I appreciate all of your support. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.